and welcome to this first AutoCAD tutorial on AutoCAD 2017. In this video we're going to be having an overview of the AutoCAD interface, uh, some of the options that you can choose from uh, and have a look at uh, one or two of the fundamental uh, on-screen uh, tools and accessories that can be used. So when you first load up AutoCAD 2017 this will be uh, the page that greets you. Uh, as you can see we've got a lot of uh, greyed out uh, things here so we can't select those yet because we've not started a drawing uh, but we can just go through uh, one or two bits and bobs so just to activate these so we can we can have a little look at those in more detail if we open up a drawing so just click in here on templates and go to this one ACAD ISO named plot styles you can see there that we've started a new drawing which has opened a new tab up here so starting from uh, the top of the screen here we've got the application menu that we can drop down there. Uh, so that's the application menu, lots of things in here that you'll be familiar with if you're uh, familiar with software at all, uh, new open, save, save as, uh, print, fairly standard uh, things there. So that's the menu and also we go into our options from here. We can open that up uh, and have a look at the options and obviously you can see here there's lots and lots of tabs to choose from. We're not going to get into this just at this point uh, we're just having a quick overview at the moment, but this just helps with the visual uh, interface mostly of, uh, of what's going on uh, and the normal options that you can change within most programs. So you can see now that we've got a 2D drawing open. Uh, if we wanted to open a 3D drawing just to see what that looks like, uh, that's the standard one, ACAD ISO named Plot Styles 3D. So if we select that one, you can see that you've got a, a three-dimensional uh, work place and here we've got a two-dimensional workplace. Uh, so again more on the differences between that as we progress through the videos. So what else have we got? We've got the uh, quick access toolbar at the top here. Again we've got the standard uh, options, new, open, save, save as, print, undo etc. And then here we've got uh, a drop down uh, menu to give us our different workspaces. Uh, drafting and annotation which is the one that we'll be working in mostly uh, at the moment for 2D CAD uh, starting off uh, and then as time goes on uh, and we get into more complex things we'll be looking at the 3D uh, workspaces as well. Coming down we've got uh, again a normal uh, options menu. Uh, sometimes this is hidden uh, when you start it might look like that you might not have it there uh, but you can simply uh, bring that back in again by clicking on this drop down menu here and show menu bar and so that's uh, that will bring that back again and again there's some stuff in here uh, that you'll use as time goes on uh, but generally speaking uh, this is uh, where uh, most of the tools that we're going to be using uh, exist so this is the ribbon and again up here you've got several tabs home insert annotate parametric view and so on and so forth and again as we progress through the videos uh, we'll learn a little bit more about what most of these things do. Uh, for the time being we'll be working a lot in the home tab uh, on this particular ribbon uh, so there's lots of information there. Again uh, clicking here will change the view of this so it might minimize just literally to that and then you click and drop that down. Uh, you might have the panel titles again so again there's some options that you can open up or we might have the panel buttons like that uh, but the way that I like it is just like that so you've got everything on display you've got plenty of space to work on you don't have to keep uh, dropping things down to find more options these are the most common ones that we'll be using uh, here along here we've got the drawing file tab so again you might have be working on several drawings uh, copying and pasting things from different drawings into the drawing you're working on uh, so it's handy to have them all up here and you can uh, just select the drawing that you want to, to work on uh, and within each drawing you've got uh, model space and then you've got uh, what's called paper space uh, and a couple of different options of layouts uh, and again we'll come on to those in future videos uh, we'll be working in model space mostly just to start with uh, until we start producing layouts Again, uh, moving down the screen, we've got over on the right side here, we've got our view cube. Uh, now this view cube uh, in 2D, you don't end up using that very much, but when you're working in 
the drawings uh, like this one this becomes a lot more useful because uh, you can use this to pivot your drawing about and you can select different faces that you want to focus in on and select different views and uh, different sides of it which is very handy when you're working in 3D drawings uh, and there's some other uh, navigational features down this side here uh, that, we'll, that we'll get into later this is the navigation bar over this side uh, going back to our 2D drawing see moving around in the middle of the screen now we've got our uh, pointer uh, down here we've got the user coordinate system so this is showing you where your X and Y axes are again more on that when we come to do some uh, simple drawing in a moment here we've got the command line uh, this is extremely useful uh, when you're working on CAD if you get a little bit lost with uh, some of the things that you've been doing and you can also review all of the uh, different uh, commands that you've put in uh, during the course of the drawing which which can be quite handy and often when you're doing a command uh, there'll be additional information come up down here different options come up down here uh, little hints and nudges as to what to do next uh, which is always very handy so the, the command bar is your friend so make sure that you uh, you keep an eye on that all the time because if you do get a little bit stuck or something's not behaving the way it should do uh, or the way you think it should then you can just look at the command line and often there'll be a hint there or a prompt there as to, to what you need to look at uh, down here we've got the status bar uh, now this again is a integral piece of uh, AutoCAD you'll be using this an awful lot as time goes on uh, you've got your uh, drawing coordinates so you can see that that changes as you move your mouse around notice that the last uh, set of digits doesn't change at all that stays on zero that's because we're working in 2D CAD in uh, 2D workspace uh, and therefore all that's changing is our X value and our Y value. Uh, AutoCAD works on a grid system uh, using Cartesian coordinates so we'll be able to uh, be able to use that as, as time goes on as well. Uh, we've also got different options here so we can turn the grid on and off if you want to see that or not. Uh, this one will uh, snap uh, to the grid if you want it to. Um, so again if sometimes you might find that the point is uh, behaving in a funny way you can't quite get it to uh, latch onto where you want to. It may be that you've got your uh, grid snap on so you can just turn that off. Uh, this is dynamic input uh, again we'll be learning a little bit more about that in later videos uh, but to start with we'll be working with that off uh, it's, a, it's a useful feature um, once you get used to it it, it can be really good. Uh, this is the ortho uh, mode so what this will do uh, just very simply if we draw a line uh, you'll notice that it's only letting me draw uh, in basically uh, 90 degree uh, values so I can't draw a 45 degree line uh, when ortho snaps on uh, so sometimes that's really useful especially when you're setting a drawing up uh, so uh, that's good and again it's, it's just good to know that it's on and off you'll also notice on a lot of these uh, as they pop up that you've got uh, shortcut buttons so uh, for ortho mode you can just press F8 on your uh, keyboard so you don't have to keep coming down here uh, you can just go you can just hit F8 like that and ortho modes off and it tells you down here as well what's happening ortho off ortho on ortho off so if I put it on again uh, we're back to uh, ortho mode so I'll turn that off now and just cancel that command uh, we've then got uh, polar tracking so this will when it's uh, on when it's selected so when it's grayed out like this it's not on when it's blue it is on uh, so again this will show you when your line is at certain angles uh, so this one is at 30 60 90 I think at the moment is selected but you can change it to select different angles uh, and again this works on um, a grid system uh, and it uses polar numbers if you've come across that before uh, so everything all angles are measured uh, this this line that I'm drawing now is zero degrees uh, that is uh, 30 degrees and 60 degrees uh, so that angle from there to there is 60 degrees uh, and then down here uh, we've actually come round full circle to 330 there's a few little tricks you can do so you could set that to minus 30 if you wanted to when we get to input in polar coordinates and such uh, but there's there's lots of different kind of ways of inputting uh, numbers and uh, coordinates into CAD and again this is this is one of the good things about AutoCAD is that there's, there's lots of different ways of doing the same thing uh, and eventually you'll just find your own methods that you're comfortable with and you're quick with 
Uh, again, the, the key to, to good drafting on AutoCAD is, is normally being able to do things in the shortest number of operations, uh, which is what we're what we're aiming for. Uh, so if you constantly have that in the back of your mind, if someone shows you a quicker way of doing something, uh, then that's great. These videos will be quite thorough, so you'll uh, we'll try and show you lots of different ways of doing it, and then you pick the one that you're the most comfortable with. Uh, so we've got other uh, options here. We can uh, turn to isometric view if we need to do some isometric drawings. Uh, we'll turn that off again. Uh, we've got uh, object snapping here. Uh, so this one, uh, at the minute these are all ticked, but you can turn these on and off because sometimes if you've got these all on you can end up selecting things by accident that you don't really want. You might select a quadrant instead of a tangent point, for example. Uh, but again, all this will become a little bit clearer as we as we move along through the videos. Uh, we've got uh, show hide line weight. So again, when we start uh, selecting different thicknesses of line for our drawings, uh, if uh, we have that off, all the lines look exactly the same thickness. When we put that on, it shows you how thick they are relative to each other. Uh, we've got some annotative uh, options here, which again, this will become more clear when we start doing layouts, how that's used. Uh, Again, we can switch between something I missed out earlier. Sorry, is uh, model or paper space, so we can switch between uh, model and paper space quite easily. Uh, so that's in the layout now. We can go back into the model on the, the tab down the bottom there. So again, that's most of the operations uh, dealt with that we need to know about. Now, I've just pulled uh, my screen in a little bit here just to show you the rest of this. Uh, so here, you've got the customize option. So when you click on that it brings up lots of different options that you can uh, add to uh, your status bar so if you notice that any of these things are missing uh, that you need to use you simply just select these here and it will appear on your status bar but what we've got selected here is uh, is good enough for us to be starting off with so that's fine so just to come back to the command line here because again this is this is something that's quite handy as we've already said there's lots of different ways of doing things so for example if I want to draw a line I can either select line up here and then uh, draw a line very simply so at the minute we're snapping quite uh, quite well so there we go uh, so that's lines that have been drawn now because I've used the line operation again we'll, we'll come to this on a later video in more detail but I've created four separate lines there. These are all uh, created independently of each other uh, and they're standalone objects which uh, have their advantages and disadvantages uh, when we compare them to polylines. Uh, but the reason we've got this highlighted is just to illustrate a point about dragging. Uh, so if you want to select something in AutoCAD you can either select it by clicking on it and then add to that selection by clicking on other things and then hit escape just to clear that down. Uh, or you can drag a window, so click once and then drag a window. Now you'll notice that I have selected this top line because that's been highlighted. You see it change in there. Uh, but what I haven't got selected are the two vertical lines, and that's because I haven't gone over them completely. If I drag this down to cover them completely, they also get selected. But when I drag from left to right and I have a blue box like I've got here, only objects that I have completely uh, encompassed with that box will be selected. So I've only selected that top line with that. So just cancel that with escape. If I want to uh, select objects by covering them partially, you drag the other way from right to left. Notice the box is green and now notice I've only got to touch uh, the uh, desired objects. So if I want to select those two lines, uh, the top vertical and the right, ho sorry, the top horizontal and the right vertical one, uh, I just have to drag my square over a part of them and they will be selected. So again if you've got quite a crowded drawing uh, and you want to select certain things quickly that can be quite useful uh, or if you just want to select everything in one hit uh, left to right is also useful. So again it's something you'll just get used to doing as you progress with your uh, AutoCAD uh, studies and development. So that's our introduction to AutoCAD. That's the uh, interface that you'll be looking at a lot over the, uh, the coming weeks. Uh, I hope that's been useful uh, and if you have any feedback or comments please let me know uh, and we look forward to uh, you joining us in the next video. Thank you very much. Goodbye.